Hi there, my name is Alana and here at Classy on the Run we love talking about all things beautiful makeup but in particular you guys know I love talking about Charlotte Tilbury. Now I want to very quickly apologize in advance for any sounds you hear in the background. Today's Victoria Day in Canada and there are fireworks going outside and I told myself I had all day to film and then I just tidy up my beauty room and then somehow it was 8pm and then that's when I'm sitting there to film on a long weekend so you know these things happen. Anyways, today I'm so excited to be sharing all about Charlotte Tilbury's brand new collection for summer. It is the Summer of Lovegasm. So her summer launch is centered around Lovegasm. So she has brought back this palette from 2019. This is the Glovegasm face palette in the shade Lightgasm. Say that five times quickly. Also introduced two new shades of her kind of shimmery lip gloss. So we've got a pink and sort of a melted popsicle, melted freezy kind of red. And then somewhere on my desk, here we go, we have the Pinkgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkgasm Sunset. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out all four of those new products. Um, but thankfully, I did get to save some money because I already bought this back in 2019. So I'm going to be trying out these four products. I'm going to be wearing them. I'm wearing many of them right now. Uh, I'm going to share with you some comparison swatches, sharing all sorts of shades of the Beauty Light Wand, as well as her kind of shimmery lip gloss formula. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to be starting off this video with the new, not so new, newly re-released Lightgasm Glowgasm Face Palette. So this is the Glowgasm Face Palette. That's like the line and it's in the shade Lightgasm. So this palette was originally introduced in 2019 and 2019 it was available in two shades. There's sort of a lighter one, which is obviously the one that I purchased and then a deeper one. And you know what, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below because I've been looking online on Charlotte's website. I haven't seen the deeper one in the re-release. So find that a little bit odd, but anyways. So this palette has four shades. You've got a bronzer, sort of a champagne-y highlight. You've got sort of a rose gold highlight, and then you've got this really pretty pink shade. It's, on me it's like a blush or a blush topper, but on others um, could be a highlighter. So anyways, really beautiful, shimmery, shimmery palette. So we're gonna start off with this because this is the re-release, and I really wanna spend more time on the new shade of the pink the new shade of the pink gasm the new shade of the beauty light wand in the shade pink gasm okay so right now on my face i have my foundation i'm wearing the yensa super cell Masilic foundation in the shade light neutral so i've been really enjoying that uh for a while actually i've been really enjoying that and then i did just a little bit of charlotte tilbury's film star bronze and glow just the bronzer just as a little bit of a contour so we're gonna start with this beautiful bronzy shade now, one thing I wanted to share about this um, formulation is it, I find it's very hard in the pan. So I find it really, you really have the opportunity to build it up and to make it look really light and dimensional and beautiful. But if you're in a rush, I don't love reaching for this because I find it can take a while to kind of build up that shade. Um, so it does have that kind of baked formula, which lots of people love, some people don't love. Personally, I'm kind of indifferent towards it. And to be honest, again, I've had this palette since 2019. I haven't reached for it a ton since that video. I could have used it a bit, you know? Okay, I think we need, so let's go in with this sort of pink shade as my blush. And then I think we're going to go in with this shade here, we're going to use a fresh brush and use that kind of gold shade as our highlighter. And for my lips, I'm going to use the new Pink Gasm Lip Gloss. Now, I suspect, yeah. So I really like these kind of bejeweled lip glosses. I have a number of them. Personally, I like to use them as lip gloss toppers, so I'll use it that way a little bit later in the video. Actually, have really nice color coverage. It's like a very kind of light bubblegummy pink. Okay, so here we have our final look one. So this is highlight, multi glow, bronze, and pop blush. And as you can see, they're all really, really shimmery. Well, except for the bronze. The bronze is sort of a, a satin, but it's definitely not a matte. Okay, so we've given the foundation the opportunity to set into my skin, dry down a little bit. You know, we want everything to be equal in our testing. So I'm just going to go back in with a bronzy shade and just give that little, little bit of kind of sculpty warmth that we had before. I always think that when you're testing beauty products, like, I mean, I get it, you know, testing the product just 
plain on its own but I think it's always better to see how it actually looks kind of worked into the face so for me it's all about showing you guys how I would actually wear the makeup in real life how I'd actually wear the product now with this particular product I'm about to show you could do a powder you could also do a cream I do find that Charlotte's um, powders and creams do play together quite nicely so I don't worry as much about that but there we go it's not like an intense contour or anything it's just a little bit of sculpting a little bit of warmth so let's get into what I definitely see actually I don't even know why I closed that what I definitely see as the star in this collection so we need a little more product on our sponge also this palette does the front of it not just give you Taylor Swift lover vibes because that's what it gives me okay I think we're going to start with two little dots and let's Let's drop my sponge, that makes sense. Okay, well we definitely need some more color than that, but I'm enjoying it so far. There we go, like a lot more color. Oh wow. That is really pretty. It's my first time using it. Okay. I have to remind myself this is Charlotte. This is not Rare Beauty. If you guys are familiar with the Rare Beauty liquid blush formula, you guys know a little goes a long way. And if you use that much, you would have blush all over your face. But that, you know, that's why we test things out. That's why we test things out on the internet and we share. So pretty and soft. Mm. Ugh. I have to be honest, I was never 1000% obsessed with any of the shades. Like, I always like the formula, but this, this shade is just stunning. Okay, let's add on just a little bit of highlighter. Let's again go in with this shade. Okay, so we have Pink Gasm Sunset. Look at that kind of bold jelly red. Okay, this is definitely not a lip gloss I would normally buy, but you know. Oh, but then you put it on and it's just a beautiful neutral. But I would totally look at this tube in the store and not buy it. I might even like this better than the pastel pink. This, it kind of like has like popsicle lip gloss. Like it's like you just have a popsicle and your lips are a little like stained, but tinted up. Oh, okay, so pretty. Okay, so let's take a look at this final look. Um, then I will show you some comparison swatches and share with you my final thoughts. Pinkgasm, Pinkgasm Sunset. Pillow Talk and Opal Magic. So here's my collection of beauty blush wands. So we have Pink Gasm Sunset, Pink Gasm, Pillow Talk, Peach Gasm, and then we have Pillow Talk Pink Pop and Pillow Talk. So these last two are from the matte collection, and everything else, of course, has that beautiful, beautiful shimmer to it. Okay, so let's talk prices. So this face palette, 75 US dollars, 95 Canadian dollars. These lip glosses are 36 Canadian dollars and the Beauty Light ones are 53. So that's the pricing for this collection. Let's chat about what I think is worth it, what's not worth it, and how I'd recommend you guys spending your money. Okay, so in terms of formula, they're all really, really good, but I've had this since 2019, so let's kind of talk a little bit about what I would actually spend your money on. Okay, so right off the bat, these lip glosses are nice, they're good, they're a great formula, they're pretty, they feel good on the lips in particular. If I was only going to get one, I have to say that while my eye is naturally drawn to, sorry, I have to keep on looking at the names because everything's like some different version of Pinkgasm. So I'm naturally drawn to the Pinkgasm lip gloss in pink, but I actually think that Pinkgasm Sunset, this red shade, I actually think it looks a lot more flattering. Um, I find that, at least in my collection, I have a thousand pink lip glosses, but I don't tend to go for the sort of jelly red lip gloss, but I think it looks really, really pretty, really pretty for summer. So if you're deciding between the two of these and you have a complexion like mine, I would say go a little outside your comfort zone and get the red. Now, real talk, do you need either of these lip glosses? No, okay, I'm sure that you have lip glosses. I'm sure you have lip glosses you love. And if you're thinking about where in this collection you'd spend your money, like, I like these a lot, I'm glad I have them, 
but this isn't where I'd spend my money on the collection. So that really brings to me the two most interesting products down to these two. Now, I wonder if you guys know what direction I'm going. Let's talk about the Glowgasm face palette first. So if your complexion is medium to deep, uh, this palette is not for you. Um, when this palette was released in 2019, there's also a deeper version. And for the life of me, I cannot find the deeper version on her website. So I'm pretty sure that she only released the lighter one. So if you have a deeper complexion, like just know that there was a product that was designed and made for you, and it just wasn't re-released in this collection. I'm just gonna, I'm just putting the information out there. So in terms of this palette, on my complexion, I thought it looked really, really pretty. Um, I like that you have sort of a bronzer, you can kind of use it as a bronzer contour, kind of bronze tour vibe. I like that you've got some highlighters. You can definitely use this as a blush. This isn't really a blush shade I would reach for. To me, this is more a bronzer, some highlighters, and a blush topper, but still really, really pretty. Personally, I don't love this baked formula. Um, I just find it kind of hard to build up. I like a little bit more oomph in my makeup, but if you're looking for something really, really subtle, I think you could get a lot of enjoyment out of this. <sighs> that being said, that being said, this is 95 Canadian dollars, 75 US dollars. So within the Charlotte range, here's what I'd say. I think it's a really good value because her blushes are normally about 50, 53 Canadian. Her film star bronze and glow, I want to say is like 75 Canadian. Um, and her new highlighters that she released earlier this year, end of last year, whenever that was, I know I posted a video about them. Um, those again are around that $53 mark, like ballpark, okay? So in that sense, you're getting four different shades for hundred bucks, $25 a shade. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think it's just a question of, are you going to use all the shades? So if you're going to use all these shades, then go for it. If you like a baked formula, I think you're going to enjoy this. Personally, rather than having this in my collection, I would rather have the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, which has, first of all, it's available in two shades, so there's a fair light, there's a light medium and a medium deep, I think, or it's fair light. Anyways, there's, there's two shades. I'm sure it's very self-explanatory which one is going to be better for your complexion. Um, I have the lighter of the two. So I use that bronzer all the time, and in fact, I actually even use that bronzer as most of my eyeshadow base today. So very versatile, great for some bronzing, great for some bronze touring, and comes with a highlighter. So that gets you two shades. And then rather than having another highlighter and a blush topper, personally, I would rather have a blush. So you're gonna spend a little bit more, but then you can pick the blush that's best for you. So I'm just putting it out there. This is fun, this is pretty, the packaging gives me lover vibes, but I don't think it's necessary. Again, maybe I'm just, you know what, it's not about, I'm not really trying to argue yes or no. I'm just trying to put information out there. You can decide what's best for you. The other thing I will say about this is I feel like when this was released, it was kind of before its time. Like I feel like makeup today is about very light, ethereal, kind of really no makeup makeup. Just like soft, beautiful skin, glowing, like Sophia Rishi wedding, like that kind of thing. And I think when this was released, makeup was a little bit more intense. So, you know. Maybe, maybe now's the time. So, all of that is to say, if you're going to buy just one piece from this collection, I would go with the Pink Gas and Beauty Light Wand. Um, first of all, I think it's like a beautiful sort of sun-kissed, I mean, literally, it's Pink Gasm Sunset. But I feel very sun-kissed, I feel glowy, I feel bronzy, but just like pink, and like I was just at the beach, and I just, I feel really, really pretty. And I think that this shade is pretty, pretty unique to the range. Like I don't think, like if you have Pinkgasm, I think Pinkgasm is sufficiently different to have this in your collection. If you have Pillow Talk, sufficiently different. Like I think it's different enough that even if you have other products in the range that you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. And I will say, I think like I love this on my complexion. I think it would also look really pretty on more of a tan medium complexion. Like I just think it would look so, so sun-kissed. Um, look, this formula is iconic for a reason. Uh, not this shade, but this formula has gone viral on TikTok. Very, very popular. Wears beautifully throughout the day. It has that glow, photographs beautifully. Really feels like soft and undone in a really beautiful way. Still has that bit of glam, but you know, like I don't even have to say like, this is where I think makeup's going. I think it's obvious that makeup is heading in sort of a cream blush bronzer 
direction. I've recently picked up a ton of cream blushes and bronzers and really excited to share some of my face with face. Really excited to share some of my favorites with you guys soon. So I think this is on trend. I think it's beautiful. I think it's gonna work with those cream bronzers that are kind of taking, you know, just kind of having their moment. You know, cream highlighters. Like I just, I just think this fits in. And I, generally speaking, cream plays well with cream, and powder plays well with powder. Now I think with Charlotte you can mix and match, but you know, generally speaking. So, anyways, that is the entire collection. My recommendation, if you were only going to buy one from this collection, it would be the. Pinkgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm Sunset. But I think it's a beautiful collection. I do really enjoy these lip glosses. I don't think I was going to enjoy them as, like I didn't anticipate enjoying them as much as I did. And it was really fun to pull out this beauty from 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.